Hello students, in many statement problems based on these important concepts of LCM and HCF, students often confuse which of the two concepts will be used and there are a number of problems, statement problems involving these two important concepts. So today we are going to try and understand how we can identify which concept from out of LCM and HCF has to be used in a particular statement problem. Now for, for this I will take one minute for explaining the meaning of LCM and HCF which I have done in my earlier videos also because that very concept will be used to understand which of the two will be used. Now see when we talk of LCM it involves the letter M and M means multiples. See multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on and if you take another number say 7 so multiples of 7 are these now see when you talk of LCM we need to find a number which is common in these multiples if you have to find the LCM of 3 and 7 so LCM of 3 and 7 will be that number which is a common multiple and the first common multiple will give you the LCM. Now see what is common in this 21 comes first which is the common multiple so 21 is the LCM of these two numbers. Now the important point to understand here is that the LCM of two numbers is always greater or equal to the numbers. Now see the numbers are 3 and 7 and LCM is 21 so 21 is much greater than 3 and 7. So LCM is always greater than the numbers whose LCM is found out. Now when we talk of HCF it involves F, F means factor. Now if you write the factors of 12 say 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 now these are the factors of 12 that means the numbers which divide 12 exactly and again suppose we have 15 so the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15 so these are the factors of 12 and 15 now see when we talk of highest common factor now what, are, what is the common factor? 1 obviously will be common so we uh, don't consider that. See 3 is common here. So nothing else is common. So HCF of 12 and 15 is 3. Now see another important point take home message. Now this message is that the HCF of two numbers is always less or equal to the original numbers. Very important difference between LCM and HCF, LCM is normally greater than the original numbers and HCF is normally smaller than the original numbers because obviously the factors have to be smaller than the numbers. Multiples are always greater. Now if you have understood this concept we can take up two problems and sort out why concept of LCM or the concept of HCF is used to solve that problem. Now suppose I am taking problem 1. Now in this problem we have a circular garden and there is a starting point from which two persons A and B are starting to move around this circular path. A is taking 18 minutes to go once around this circular path whereas B is taking only 12 minutes to go around the circular path once. Now we need to find after how many minutes these two persons will be at the starting point together. Obviously they are starting at the same point at the same time but they are taking different times to cover this entire circumference once. So we need to find out after how many more minutes they will be together at the same point starting point again. Now see why the concept of LCM will be used in this question. 
if a is taking 18 minutes to go around once then obviously the time taken for both of them to reach this point again will be greater than 18 minutes so i told you lcm is always greater than the original numbers now we need to find the answer here that answer will has to be greater than 8 12 and 18 so the concept of lcm has to be used here little bit of understanding and little bit of practice of these types of question will enable you to very easily interpret that concept of lcm has to be used in this question so 12 and 18 if you want to find the lcm see larger number is 18 I have discussed some shortcuts to find the LCM and this is the simplest method to solve the uh, this problem of LCM now. Now 12 and 18, 18 is the larger number but 18 is not exactly divisible by 12. So just take multiples of 18, 18 to the 36, now check 36 is divisible by 12 or not, yes, so answer is 36, so solution that 36 after 36 minutes these two persons will be at the starting point again you can very easily verify 18 minutes so he will come a will complete uh, complete two rounds of this circular path 12 minutes 12 3 is a 36 so b will complete three rounds so after 36 minutes they will be here again so concept of lcm whenever your answer is more than the original numbers now one problem involving the concept of HCF. Now, why the concept of HCF is to be used? See problem two. Now, suppose there are three subject books. Now, suppose there is a subject A, subject B, and subject C, and there are separate number of books of each subject. There are ninety-six books of A, two hundred and forty books of subject B. And suppose 336 books of subject C. Now we need to arrange these books in stacks. Obviously, one stack will contain only one subject books. So we need to find out the number of books in one stack so that exact number of stacks are formed in 96 books. Ex same number of stacks say for 280 book, 240 books and same number of stacks for 336 books. So the number of books in the stacks have to be same. Okay. Like now see if 96 books have to be arranged in stacks then obviously number of books in one stack will be less than 96. Same number of books have to be there for B subject books and for C subject books, same number of books in one stack. So that number of books in one stack cannot be more than the original number of books obviously. So the answer has to be smaller than the original numbers. So once you understand this, that your answer has to be smaller than these numbers, then automatically you can say to yourself that yes, concept of HCF has to be used in this because HCF is always smaller than the original numbers. So now you need to find the HCF of these three numbers. Now for finding the HCF obviously you have different methods prime factorization method and uh, you can uh, use Euclid's uh, division lemma also for finding the HCF of these uh, uh, through Euclid division lemma obviously that long division method is used. So I am using factorization method I know that uh, 96 is 48 into 2 240 is 48 into 5 and 336 is 48 into uh, say 7 7 is a 56 6 5 7 for the 28 and 3 5 33 so see 2 5 7 they are all prime numbers so 48 is the common factor so the answer is 48 books that means stacks of 48 books have to be made now 48 into 296 so 2 stacks 48 into 5 240 5 stacks 48 into 7 336 7 stacks so very important point here is that lcm of numbers is always greater than the original numbers and hcf of numbers 
is always smaller than the numbers and this concept can be applied in case of LCM and HCF problems involving statements. So keep learning, keep enjoying and share and subscribe the channel if you like it.